we are back viewers we are in January we are sitting fifth as you can see well, we're not doing too bad on Arsenal's only conceded four goals what holy smokers just seeing that now Arsenal's only conceded four goals no they haven't that's their goal difference it's me being stupid Who's conceded the least? We're 21. We've conceded the least goals. Who's scored the most? Liverpool and Sitley. Leicester one behind them. Not really a surprise there. We just get did get put out of the FA Cup there by Sitley. And the players are freaking racked after it too. Which is a bit of a problem. Typical that it had to be United. I was playing next, like didn't it? I'm just gonna have to. Oh, hold on, I can't. Oh, that did I just delete the whole thing? I did. You freaking idiot. I was just thinking would it be better putting him at who do you call him Ashley Young at left wing? Big game against United here. Where are they at in the league there? Oh, they've dropped off the pace, have they? There's actually Spurs that are top now. Liverpool were actually working this league the last time I looked at it. 33. Yeah, so they, they would close the gap massively down to 4 points if they beat us. The last time we played them in the league it was 3-3 three, three. they did put us out of the league cup I think it was the quarters I missed the third one. Looking for a difference maker this evening. How about this fellow, Edinson Cavani, following a hat trick? Does he have another big performance in him this so time? This Stay with Thursday, us. Thursday, we'll be putting this video up now for you. As soon to be. As soon as Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. Really finished. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary the gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And we've got Near Premier League action Near coming Mark right up. It's so Aston Villa versus up Manchester next, United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Might be able to get in behind the defence, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. He hasn't scored for us yet, the young striker. Taken short. Gives it a go. Now able to close down the short. Can he finish? Ashley Young oh, too against this old club. That would have been that one headlines there. Short corner favoured. He takes aim. Oh, that is a superb save. Well, the crowd can sense the goal's coming. Could this be the moment? they the numbers too, please. Firing is in. Sensational goalkeeping from Danny De Gea. Will I get one of these in yet here? Or short corner routine. Just lose the ball. 
has a go. And the keeper diving to thwart it. <laughs> well, they fancy a short one. Takes the shot. And De Gea, absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. Nicotini will lose the ball next time. And taken short. Shot attempted. Oh, that's a pro. No there. way through. Cutting the ball back. Oh, Clean I challenge. Want that to I want that to Young. But it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to Never choose between the two. Can one of them just go on a great run? Like I'm hearing a lot away. of people saying about how good Leicester were, but to take it away. they weren't that great. Like if they were that, if they were that good, why did Liverpool get so many good chances? Coutinho Back makes post. his way oh. forward. What next? So Liverpool just couldn't well, score. As you can see, Villa have completely dominated the position. Liverpool had a lot of good chances in the game, and well, just obviously the penalty was gun. the main one. But no less than they deserve. They they just need to Michael be made a world class save from now. Salah as well. Point blank save. And options I can in the remember a uh, Manny firing one over the freaking bar. Back. That, that front? was a real set of that one. Right? Piece of defending. I want him to let that, let that beat him and run on to it. From the bank. Now can they counter clinically? Gotta win that boy, yep. And they'll regard that as a very good I'm thinking like to the move. Devin Joe Gomez would be a crack in signing for us, but I think he'll cost too much for us to be honest. McGinn. Oh, he just and took it off when challenge. I was about to pull the trigger. Pogba. Jamie now. Of course, Chelsea dropped points last night Bruno too, so although that helps Liverpool, like it, uh, it's not looking good. Oh no, it's not looking good for the the league for anybody else. But City, like you sort of want them a title race. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United just with the lead here. Set there, just too strong all over the pitch. Like they can just. Matt they could make a fucking third third team that would be a lot better than McGinn. a lot of the Premier League well. some of the Premier League teams that the 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 squad is that they have. There will be just one minute of added time. United finding space on the wing. Can he put it away here? Bruno Fernandes. Great oh, reflex see. action. Well, that should have been a goal, mind you. See the rest over his time as well here again. They take it short. And with that, the first half draws. Don't really want to take Billy off, to be quite honest with you. What's this by Archer like? He's just slow as a freaking snail, too. Just hit the keeper the gun. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Well, he has the why, why did you do Under that for? Analysis, it was good defending. Why, why would you run pack the way again for that? Cavani. Vardy. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Just straying offside. That was all because of Young not freaking. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, he'll certainly bring much needed experience to them. Let's just hope he's still got the legs to have a real impact. Sick. I think he'd do well. Good work to win them all back by United. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Wasteful from United. Getting forward. 
Coutinho. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Not so good here, boys. No, we're not getting all too well. Couldn't hang on to it. Target. And space to cross it. Takes the shot. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Ramsey. Coutinho. It's there for him. Oh, a body in the way, crucially. I don't know what kind of head needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action well, coming your way. It's Aston Villa facing Everton. Bruno Fernandes. United pushing to add to the lead. It'll be a corner. There's not really much we can do in terms of subs with all the, the fitness issues. But... Playing it in. On the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. Are oh, you joking, mate? Could cross it in here. Cavani. Change to him. Cavani. He wouldn't freaking change to the player oh, I wanted him to change to. There is opportunism for you, but a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, a second goal for them here. This is looking threatening. Determined defending. Target. Oh, potential danger. Again. Can he finally, boys, finally with 10 minutes to try and see if this. Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such running. Great goal. They're just being a wee bit more patient. Sorry, the ball is rolling right. again. 2 1 the scoreline. And plenty of scope to be created in that wide position. This could be it. Oh, yes. What a classy goal. And make no mistake. I knew I was going to end up having many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it. So back underway at 3 1. And in the yeah. end, he's run out of space. I just think just the having the rest of all them players have really cost us in this game. And it's difficult to have against the United and the rest of the players. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. The midfield players have been outnumbered. And there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looks so what promising, kind of a turn is that, boy? Coming from it. And with that, the referee blows for full time. I think that's our first loss at home. It's dropped down to 69, my manager rating. Why look? I'm still fifth. You see one of the right because it didn't raise the semi-finals. There's one reason. 
And sure, like, if that freaking city, like, what do you expect? See, I need to sign two players from England, Ellen's English as well. Gomez. I'm just hoping he might be on Halpy or something. He's already moved. Flip, say, I didn't know that. I could do a bag up right back to be fair. We do need a right winger as well. We need a back up right winger and a back up right back. A back up striker too. Maybe even a starting striker. Can't well no. Wonder what his rating is in this. Cause he's doing quite well for Ch Chelsea in, in real life at the minute. He always has massive potential. Never really used him though. Gallagher will get a wee scout report now and see what he's like. I actually have Gallagher in my dream team at the moment. He's doing, I've had him in all season. He's been doing fit and brilliant for Palace. Not want to get Reese James. Yeah. 21 million release clause for Curtis Jones. Yeah, it's good important Johnson there as well. Oh, aye, there's Lamptey. I actually forgot about Lamptey. I, I would like to get Lamptey in as a starting right back, I think. Can't believe our ratings dropped to sixty nine there just because we got beat by United three one. I probably could sell one of these boys to be fair. But I want ten million. I'm surprised at the board being unhappy. Like I thought I was doing well to be sitting in fifth place. I know we're out of the Emirates Cup, but we're fitting playing City like. The man of the moment. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. Hello and welcome Definitely wherever you're watching. Back. This is good as well. I'm Derek Stryker Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for to commentary, to commentary by me. Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And players waiting in the centre. Buendia. Oh. And it's gone behind for the corner. It's a corner. Oh, crap. I thought it was a goal kick. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. goal Alan goal. starts alongside Abdullahi Dukure in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. 
And the ball in the net at Selhurst Park. That news coming through. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Palace. He shot far post. The keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They've scored the opener with only nine minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Palace beat Liverpool. Douglas Luiz. Out oh, was frickin' new. Possession lost, intercepted. Oh my goodness. So for Aston Villa, disappointment last time out. They lost in the game against Manchester United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, to lose at home is never a good result. Today, though, it's important that they show some resilience and defend better as a youth. Will he finish? And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. 1 0 then. Forced error, you've got to say. Using his physical strength to shield it. He's going forward well here. This could square the game. Yes. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, I'm concerned if we're, I'm really concerned if we lose this game. I'm really feeling I don't understand why it's dropped to 6 and 9 and from 8 and 3. It's an excellent just because finish. it lost to me on the United. So in business I'm once more fifth. on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. The only objective Alan. of the field is going out of the FA Cup in the third round. Nicolas they were expecting me to get to the semis, but like a freaking play against City. Look. I think in, in all now. football games, I think there's oh, a wee bit of a problem there Just with like expectations in, in cups. They can say they say to do this and Watkins. that, but then they don't really allow you for like maybe you get Young. a tough draw. Can they forge ahead? The guy took City to a replay and they were lost 4 2. Douglas Luis. No, high quality that defending. Fault, that pass. Playing with purpose and control. That is tackling of the highest order. That was my fault too. I just think Great. there needs to be a wee bit of like leverage there. On the ball, and the cuts. On. Where if you, go out, if you get a big team to go out beforehand, then they, sh they should really say, well, they're oh, going for the short one. I expected more from you, but we understand. But again, one of the best teams in the league. You know, it's Onto understandable Bustos. to go out at that stage, something like that. It's but there for him. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Coutinho. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, and credit is due for that good piece foot. of defending. And with that, the first half. I'm actually thinking about changing. I'm going. So the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams just think saying to each other, Marino. whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And I need extra bodies in there. Tyrone means. And that leaves space for the fullback to burn on here. And space for the cross. Teammate in support. Douglas Luiz. Can they put it away? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. That is how to apply the pressure. But well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. 
Just hearing someone has scored at the King Power Stadium, but who exactly? We'll find out by joining Alex. It's a goal for Brighton. It's now 1-0 with 54 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Well, they keep the ball moving. Castillo. Gray. Comes again from the flag. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move, and he can continue to develop his career. Perfect challenge. Great vision to switch the play. Oh, showing yeah. excellent vision. Nicely oh, saved. <laughs> so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Favoring the short one. Well, he likes to run at them. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. And the short option preferred. There's no options here. Look. Douglas Luiz. There's no options there whatsoever. Oh, he's given it away. There, Just a quick reminder. We'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. It's Everton taking on Brighton. Well, the cup always whets the appetite, and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Oh, no. Can he put them in front? I should keep with just Eric Carson and I know him with suspect that. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? This isn't good. Alan. Ten minutes to go. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And crossed in there. Will it happen for him here? Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. Well, definitely. That would have won the game for him. That's a bad miss. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal at Selhurst Park, but who has scored it? Alex is going to tell us. Yeah, it's another for Liverpool. It's now 4-2 with just under 10 That's minutes to go. Alex with the info as ever. Not good enough. Castillo. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. I can't even get down the byline to get a... Uh, Maxima. How is he not pulled away from him there? Look. So the final whistle has sounded and a day of just. There's the manager rating dropping again, boys. Even though we're sixth and we're expected to get in the Europa League. He's actually valued quite a lot. I think Lamptey's going to be a clean fortune. Look. I don't even know if we'll get any of these scout reports back before the end of the month. Hopefully we do. No. We're not having that.
Police found in our brown represent an important target. Well, is that this? I thought that was. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to do that now then. I thought that was for. Like in like a long term goal where you have to do it in the next two years. Right, so we need to look at some of these boys. You could bring the likes of Clark in on loan, maybe. It's not really a big lot. Fine. Need English players. He's gonna have too much money. Yeah. I think we'll make a move for orange here. <laughs> That's a good deal. But he probably will be starting to before. Striker. I wonder, could I even like own them? I don't know if loaning counts though. I 
that we buy Scarlet's gonna be has big potential. I'm not sure if he's big potential in FIFA, but in real life he does. I'm not sure how much he's gonna cost. <laughs> Obviously I have overpaid there. Sending two England players or English players. There's me back up the eighty again. That's a big transfer offer, boys. What if I ask for 35 million? Or not 35 million, 50, I mean. have a wee look now right wingers seventy four million at least loss Barrett trying to get a young right winger. It's just for having scouted a lot of these boys, that's the problem. really sure about him. I don't think he's good enough. Or him. I need 
to wait. So this deal goes through. I'm surprised Watkins hasn't started giving off yet. Right, he's sold. I don't think this, I don't think he'll come to us to be quite honest. But we'll try. I would say that's been a good transfer window for us boys, even though we left it late to do anything. That's a lot of money for him, but I don't want to start trying to look for a left back at this stage of the window. Definitely not. Cassie's went to City. 61 million was spent, net spend of 10 million. I think that leaves like a net spend of... I think we're like 20 million and uh, thingy window, the, the first window. It's been, well at least we've been busy, we've been busy in the transfer window anyway. We'll have a wee look here and see what everybody done. Arsenal just sold a load of players, that's why they're looking at left back and sold to here now. Chelsea's made quite a bit of money. They're bad, so I would say they've improved. Liverpool spent 50 million on three players, so he spent big money on two. United's brought two in. Newcastle, I would say. Would you say Newcastle's got worse or better? Hard to say. What's the big deals? Oh aye, that was the other one though. Okay, so. They've bought another striker in. How many strikers are them boys bringing in? I'll tell you what, Bayern Munich's brought in some of my players.
so hopefully this will uh, strengthen our position. No, we'll have a load of scout reports coming back here now. No. We don't need a right back now, but he could be maybe one to look at as like a backup. He could be worth looking at for like a fourth choice centre back. I'll put Jones in the short list because in the future maybe we'll see. Didn't see him. He's not bad. Yeah, he's quite slow. He's not much worse than our other striker, to be fair. Who's our next game? Leeds is a brave wee bit away of here, so that's going to do it for today. We'll be we'll do our best to get a video up tomorrow for you as well. As I said, I don't really know what sort of is happening from day to day but I'm gonna be trying to get a video up for you every day although I'm not sure I'm away s Sunday Monday Tuesday so them three days more than likely there'll not be a video up but I'll try and get a few things recorded and try and get them to try and get a video or two up for you as well see what I can do um, I'll catch you tomorrow enjoy the rest of the day goodbye